10, 15 minutes max. I feel like the part that's going to take the longest, honestly, is um, doing the crystals and stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys me placing like one or two crystals and then I'm going to probably pause the video that way. It's not like all drawn out, but I want to make sure you guys get the gif of it. So I think this is good. I think this is good. Try to look at Yes, it's popping. So now I'm trying to clean. So I'm looking down. I'm cleaning my brush. I have a towel right here on my lap. We're going to go into another brush. Now, I feel like the brush that I use usually depends on how I want the look to look. So this brush here that I have, oh, let me put this down so I can show you. It's super, super thick. And I find that it really, really like slaps that color on. And that's what I need. So now we're going to go into that light blue, not the blue that has the glitter. We're just going to go into that light blue. And like I said, let's go ahead and get a generous amount. Blow that excess off. And let's go ahead and start right on that eyelid. And let's pat that color on. So this is where you want to really, really take your time. Because you don't want that blue to like outshine that orange that we have there at the top. We want them to be friends but we don't want them to be all in the mix if that makes sense so let's just take our time and get that blue on the eyelid i want this blue to pop y'all so now i'm going towards that crease go towards your crease and bring it on back down bring it on back down blue's about to be popping okay it's gonna be popping so i'm going back into that blue again and I'm probably going to do it a couple times because I needed to withstand some wind today. Because some of the things that I'm doing today is going to require that my makeup is like packed on, baby. You got to be packed on, baby. Okay. And I'm just patting that in. Taking it a little bit into the corner. Bringing it back out. I'm really, really, barely going into that that crease there. So we want to make sure that we focus more on the eyelid. Let's go into that color one last time. Just make sure that we got it exactly where we want it to be. And then we are about to leave it alone for a second, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to see some spots. So try not to leave no spots. So if you recognize a spot that is not as colorful as you want it to be, go back into it and get that color together because makeup takes time, especially when you want to go ahead into a really nice dramatic look like it's going to take some time. So let's go ahead and start on this other side, going back into that blue. We still did not, y'all, I'm sitting in this chair and I swear it sounded like I am it, but um. <clears throat> I don't even know what I was about to say, but let's just go ahead into this. Same process. We're patting. We did not go into that glitter blue yet, which is what I think I was about to say. We're just packing on this blue, getting it on there nice. Going back into that color. And let's do it again. Let's do it again. Guys, like, I've been getting really, really good at my makeup. And I'm super excited to be this far. Like, yo, I wasn't doing this good. I feel like a week ago, I was not doing this good with my makeup. Like, and now, like, when I go out in public, people are like, oh, my God, who did your makeup? And I'm like, me. I did it. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> and then, like, my daughters are starting to really, really dive into makeup. So, I feel like whatever I learn... I'm literally like showing them and then they watch my videos too so y'all might see them in the comments if y'all see my daughters in the comments y'all follow them here on YouTube I know one of my daughters YouTube is love loves yoga y'all super super cute channel uh, they're still building their content but still going to support and then my other daughter is leave it to queen y'all gonna see them in the comments I promise you y'all gonna see them in the comments they be they like my little personal hype man okay I'm going back into this blue. And then my son, his channel is that boy Arion. Every once in a while, he'll be in my comment like, oh, good job. Oh, it looks good. But he's not interested in anything I got going. But yeah, if y'all see him in the comments, go and show some love. Sometimes I have to tell him like, hey, bro, <laughs> you need to go and show me some love on my video. Quit sleeping on me. But, you know, he's a boy. He don't really care. 
Now, if I was like a gamer, he'd be all over all of my content. So, we're done with that blue for now. We're going to go into this really light blending brush. And what I'm going to do is try to smooth out those edges, okay? So, we're going to go right between that blue and that orange, not rubbing it up and all over the place. Like, literally take some time and let's just blend that out, do some circle of motions. And we want to just focus on that crease line. So what this is going to do is like smooth it out, blend it out really good. Keep it from looking very, very harsh on the edges. So just take your time and just get that where you want it to be. Now, we don't want it to really, really mix. Just more so as blend. So you've got to take your time on this part. Okay. <clears throat> I like how it looks. I really, really like this. I like it already. And then my crystals and stuff is going to kind of be scattered out around here. So, yeah. And once you kind of go in and blend, it really is okay to add some more blue. Like, I already feel like I'm going to add some more blue, to be honest. Or maybe once I put that glitter blue on top, it would be... It will look the way that I want it to look. <clears throat> Actually, I like how it's looking. It's not too much. But what I want to do for real, I'm about to go back into that blue. And I'm going to add some more only on the eyelid area because I need that to just like stand out a little bit more. It's not standing out as bold as I would like it to look. And I think that's a little bit better. Because I got some real deep creases. Like once I open my eyes, like if my makeup ain't on there, you're not going to even tell. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was super, super early. I had to get up like two hours early before it's actually time to start getting ready because I wanted to make this video. I set my alarm clock so I can make this video. <laughs> I literally set my alarm clock so I can make this video. Okay, so I am liking how that is looking. Let me see. Yes, there's some down here, kind of some flyaways, but I like how this is looking. So what I want to do is I am actually going to use some setting spray and I am going to spray that on my face real fast. I want to go ahead and get that ash out of kind of sick. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Stay All Night. And we're not going to do too much. Just just do enough because I need to go in and start doing like the crystals and stuff. And I just don't want these crystals to not have a good place to show that so i'm gonna put this up and again these are the crystals that i'm going to be using so here's the crystals the easiest way to use like to actually apply the crystals you need like a really nice eyelash glue so this is the glue that i am going to be using i'll put the name y'all y'all can't even see that hold on this is what i'm going to be using this is a liquid it has a nice tip to it, which really, really helps apply everything. And y'all, it be cooking my lashes up too when I use it for my lashes. And then we want to go ahead and get some tweezers. So let me scoot in. I want y'all to really, really see the ends of this. It has this magnet piece here at the end, which really, really helps. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I still be dropping it. Like, <laughs> sometimes I still drop it. But I am going to show you guys just a couple couple little areas and I'm going to put this in. So we're going to go in and the very first thing we want to do is figure out where exactly do we want to place our stuff. So I want to go into the orange right here at the tip of my brow slightly under and I'm just going to place a dot and I'm going to leave it there for a split second. I typically like to do two at a time. So I'm going to go right above the brow and I'm going to place another dot. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I have two dots on my face. Right now, it is going to go ahead and start drying just a little bit, but you don't want to take too long, okay? Because once it dries, it starts to get real, real sticky. So I just typically use my tweezers and I just go in and pick out the drawers that I want. So here's one. I'm going to put it on my hand so that I can actually get it the way that I want. And then just kind of lightly grip it. Sometimes it be falling to the floor, girl. And I'll be like, baby, <laughs> come on now. So we're going to place it right on top of that dot, y'all. 
once you get it on a dot you can kind of like move it around until it's exactly where you want it to be and then just kind of let it sit and let it start to dry okay hold on let me use this in because sometimes i'll be having to push it because i pushed it too much all right now let's go into that other one can you guys see hold on let me come closer can you see where i placed that and then you can see where i placed that other dot as well y'all trust the process so let me go in and get another one place it on my hand and just kind of pick it up pick it up pick it up and then let's go over here and boom baby i really like to do this in the actual mirror because this I can probably see, but we're gonna be all right. Ah! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, hey. So boom, baby, we got those on. Mm -hmm. He told me to throw it back about. Y'all, this literally the, um, the TikTok and the reel that I'm doing. <laughs> today i already like did the first half of it then i gotta go back and finish it out like yeah but okay so i'm going to finish putting these crystals on and i'm gonna show you guys what the final look is i'm gonna put my lashes on or actually i'm gonna show you guys how i do the lashes at least show you one lash so let me finish the crystals and then we'll be back guys that's the final look as far as the rhinestones, I'm looking in the uh, mirror over here, but y'all, this is what we did. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get these lashes on. So I'm going to use that same glue. And the best thing to do to get your lashes on, if you are not good at doing your lashes, is you want to add it to your line. So get it as close as possible to your lash line. Some of the glue will touch your eyelashes, y'all. Like, it's just a part of the process. Like, just keep going. Don't think just because you touched your eyelash that you messed up because you didn't. Just go over that line. I like to go over my line, like, twice. So, I'm going to place it really, really good. And this lash glue, y'all, be gluing, baby. Like, it literally be sticking everything on all day like i love it i love it and just wherever you feel like your lashes is going to touch go on and get that glue there so we got the glue here next thing i want to do is take my lash and we're going to also add glue to the lash so here's the lash add that glue on there and this is just going to help it stick so much faster so much easier like it's so good okay let's do a good amount because honey the activities i'm doing today baby got to stick so we're going to kind of let that dry for a second not all the way dry i'm gonna go ahead and put this lash down and go into my mascara the mascara i'm going to be using is by lancome this is what it looks like it is so good before you put your lashes on, it's such a good idea to go ahead and put some mascara on. So go ahead and get your mascara on. It's going to make it look more natural. I don't really ever go into my mascara after I have my lashes on. I do on my bottom. That's because I don't put lashes down there. But you want to get that on really, really good. And I feel like that's on good enough. Remember, you don't want that glue to dry all the way because it does dry fairly quick. So let's go back into this lash. And let's get a good grip of that thing. I really don't like to pull my lashes on camera because I feel like it's a struggle. <laughs> and I don't want people to watch me struggle. But I like to kind of curve my lash down and just push it exactly where I need it to be. And having that glue on there really, really, really helps. So I just kind of just push it on. Ooh, baby, looking at this little bitty mirror ain't going to do no goo. But yeah, take your time. Luckily, I have nails. And like having nails makes it a little easier too because you can just kind of use your nail to guide it into the right direction if it don't stick to your nail. 
Okay, so we got that on there. What I typically try to do is let it wait for a second and kind of just hold its spot. And then I'm gonna go in with that tweezer again. So this is where we at with the lashes. Now, let's take this tweezer and use that to really, really bring that lash all together naturally, as natural as possible. Okay. Sorry, y'all gotta focus on them, poke my eyeball. Okay. Boom. We end up. So we got that lash on, it's on. Hold on, this side kind of lifted back up. Baby, go down, go down. We ain't doing that. We can't do that, y'all, sorry. Hold on. This is why you gotta take your time. There we go. There we go, that looks better. I looked in the mirror, I was like, something off. There we go, baby, we good. So, we're gonna let that dry. And then I'm going to do the other lash. And I wasn't gonna do my actual um, makeup look on camera, but I feel like, shit, we here. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this look off. So let me get this other lash on, and then I'm gonna come back and kind of finish out this look for you guys. Um, one of the first things I'm gonna do before I start applying anything to my face is I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, marshmallow primer and I'm just gonna add it around my face really good and just kind of get that rubbed in I really really love this marshmallow primer because it's just so freaking good y'all so instead of using the handheld mirror this time I'm actually going to be looking at the mirror that's behind this camera so if you guys see my eyes going up just kind of just bear with me um, this is so moisturizing it feels so freaking good on my skin and I don't like to like rub it all the way in. So I kind of just, you know, get it where it needs to be. And I like to kind of let it sit for a second. Not too long because once I apply my foundation, I like for my primer to still kind of have some slickness to it. This marshmallow primer, y'all, like it's sticky really, really quick. And not in a bad way. More so as it kind of helps really, really grip your makeup. And that's what you need. So I am still using the It foundation in the shade Deep. And what I do is just I draw a couple of lines across my face, just like that. Kind of get it on, you know what I'm saying? Just get your dots wherever the hell you need it. <laughs> Y'all, okay, so just get those dots where you need it. I'm gonna add just one little dot. To oh, I'm gonna pick that up and add it right there. So now we're gonna use this beauty sponge and just go ahead and get that going. So for today, I'm going to do my um, look a little bit different. Usually I like to add a color correct under my eyes, but I'm just not gonna do that today. I just feel like the foundation itself should really, really do its job. Like the foundation is really, really good. So we can get that in all the spots that we need before putting on our concealer. So just take your time patting. I really, 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 really love this concealer. I mean, not this concealer, this foundation. Like it, the smell of this is really, really good. And then it's so lightweight, like, I don't be knowing that it's on my face and I really really love that because I'm not gonna knock <laughs> Finny y'all because I've been using her products for so long especially when I first started doing my makeup Finny was like all that I was using because you know for one I love Rihanna and I was just like I'm gonna support Rihanna and just use all her products but after wearing it all day I realized that like it just it's really really heavy like and I just hate to be someone that just dislikes another person's products, especially someone on her statue. But, you know, once I found this product, I'm like, dang, I really, really like this product. 
more and it just it is what it is so now i'm going to go into my concealer wherever that is i'm still going to be using the juvia's place concealer she has won me over for life <laughs> as far as right now like i just love it because it took me forever to find a concealer that really really works for me so i'm just rocking it out with her um let's go ahead and place it under the eye and i'm going to make sure i get it really really good let's go over the lip area Go back into this concealer this time. I might have to double up on it. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to see how well it covers my uh, my spots. And let's just go ahead and add some to the forehead. Bringing it down. Under the lip. And I'm pretty much just using what's left over. And trying to spread it out as much as possible and then i do this boom so that's where we are with this so this is how it's looking so far um typically i like to let it sit so since today i'm going to be out in the sun what i'm going to do before i actually start blending it out is i'm going to go ahead and set it with the elf primer and then i'm also let me see i'm going to be finishing my makeup today with urban decay so i'm going to be using two different setting sprays you guys and that's because it's so hot out here like i'm going to be in the sun it's going to be humid i know i'm going to be sweating and i just want to make sure that my makeup pretty much lasts all day it has to last all day <laughs> um so we're going to go ahead and spray this elf spray it really good around the face let's get it good let's get it good and let's go ahead and start using this sponge to blend out actually i'm gonna use this mirror behind me let's blend out that concealer i really really love this concealer guys like it's just look at that this is so good like it just does what it needs to do it's so natural the way that it blends with my skin <laughs> it just doesn't do too much like i like my makeup to look like me i don't really like my makeup to look like i'm a different person i just love the natural natural look so we're gonna go ahead into that let's go ahead and get into this lip area y'all i need to go and get my <laughs> my mustache wax honey because maybe it's, it's starting to look like a little a little man <laughs> Um, I'm not patting around the eyes just yet and more so it's going around that area. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that forehead. I like for the concealer to sit under my eyes for a little bit just so once I start actually blending it out, it doesn't like um, fade away too bad. Because this is where my darker spots are. So we want to make sure we're good to go. Let's go down that line now we can go ahead into the eyes y'all you see how natural the makeup is like it's super natural i'm gonna use this so that i can see my eyes though and just pet it really good okay see pet that out really really good Focusing on the areas of the concealer and the concealer only. I'm just getting it really nice. Okay. See, we are looking good. So usually, I don't do the baking method. But like I said, since today I will be out in the sun all day, we're going to go ahead and bake my face. So what I'm going to use is the translucent setting powder from CoverGirl again. This is what we used on the eyes before we actually went in and placed the um, eyeshadow on it. So this is that. We're just going to go ahead and open it up. It smells so freaking good. <laughs> and let's go in and get a good generous amount onto this sponge. And we are going to bake our face. If you are not familiar with bake, baby, get familiar. Because it'd be times like this. I wish rain falls fall. okay nice like this i bet y'all don't even know where that came from i bet y'all don't know what movie that came from okay 
So we got that hair. I need to get around that nose a little bit more because baby, I'm going to be oily. I'm going to bake it on my forehead. So basically, any place that I put that concealer, I'm going to go ahead and bake. And I'm telling y'all, Julio's place, you probably don't even need to do it, but we're going to be <laughs> better safe than sorry. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and just go into here, line it out. And just kind of pat that out. Does not need to be too much. We'll keep that very light and very very simple so while this is doing you know baking and stuff this is the perfect time that you want to go ahead and dive into some other stuff like your lips so we're going to go ahead and do the lips now today's i'm going to be using juvia's place this is the coca-cola lipstick let me raise that up so you guys can see it and it's so gorgeous hold on i think i gotta give it time to focus it's gorgeous like I love this shade and I'm going to use this to kind of outline my lips usually I try to do like a lip liner but I'm going to actually use this as a lip liner then I'm going to be using Kylie Jenner's um, her lip gloss I actually forgot this shade but it's it's basically brown it's like a light brown like pinkish but it's glittery and nice and glossy and that's kind of what I want to go for today a nice natural gloss look so I need to find me a brush that I can actually, hold on, let me go into my makeup bag, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Let me find me a makeup brush that I can line my lips with. This might actually work here. Let me see if I got another one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. It's one thing about traveling, Lord, you just, you have all, I have all the stuff I need to do my makeup, but as far as like traveling and stuff, once I dive into the bag, I'm like, where is this at? Where is this at? I forget where I put everything. So I'm just going to kind of brush over the top of this on each side of my brush. And I'm going to be using this to line my lips out. So I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So you got to do like that. Mm-hmm. And we're just using this as a liner. See? Mm. it's just giving us a natural look nothing too crazy nice natural look and the good thing about this is i know for a fact this will last me all day not sure about the kylie um her lip gloss i'm not sure if that's gonna last me all day however i will be having it in my purse <laughs> just in case so let's line that look really nice Mm -mm. and start to kind of bring some of that color forward but not too much and notice that I'm not even going back into the brush so here at the top I'm just going to blend it down color that I'm going to be doing nice simple and easy that's a very very quick lip right there that's gonna be bomb let's go in with that Kylie Jenner add us some gloss before I do my gloss let's and then gloss that middle very natural simple natural cute this is going in my purse because i just know baby i just got a feeling it is not going to uh sit all day so this is a highlight brush i actually like using this to take off my uh powder so let's just go in and just kind of get that powder brushed off This is very light, so I love it. Yep. Mm 
We're just getting that powder off nice and light. All we gotta do is finish up the eyes, add some color at the bottom of our lids, add a little more mascara to the bottom of our um, lids, and just kind of get everything blended. We gotta add some bronzer. So I'm actually gonna do all that stuff here soon. Y'all, yeah, we looking good. We are looking good. So let's go in with our spray. Remember, we want it to last all day, so we gotta we gotta get right. We gotta get right. So now that that's done, what is the next thing that we need to do? I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and go into my powder. Um, I have a dark powder from CoverGirl. Hold on, it might still be in my bag. Yeah, it's gotta still. Yep, here it is. So I'm gonna go into this real fast. This is True Match Powder. Oh, this is from L'Oreal. I've been saying this is from CoverGirl. Gosh, like in the previous videos, I was like, this is CoverGirl. But yeah. <laughs> oh, God bless me. So let's just go into this powder. And what I'm gonna do is go into this cheekbone area where it's darker. And y'all notice that I did not contour. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I am not doing contour right now. Um, I just noticed that contouring is not what I need in my life. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit to the forehead area. Take whatever's left and then just kind of go around here. The edges blend, blend, blend on my neck. And this is a powder brush, so it's very, 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 very light. Super light. So now to the fun part, my favorite part, which is bronzing. So this bronzer is from Juvia's Place as well. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So I go in with this top color first and then I finish it with this lower color. So let's go ahead and dive into that. I go ahead and pat around the hairline area on that lighter color. Bringing it down around by my ears. Just like that. And y'all, this is what's going to add all that warmth to your forehead. Okay. Now let's go into that darker shade at the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's blend it on that forehead. Pushing into that hairline. Bringing it down to the ears. And since the sun going to be hitting, we're going to be glistening. <laughs> I like to bring it down in this area here. Because I want to shine. So when that sun hit me, I want people to be like, who the hell is that girl over there? Okay. So we just kind of lightly get that where we need it. And then whatever's left, let's get it on that forehead. Okay. Bring some to your nose. Yeah. We are going to be good. And let me use this lighter brush. I need to clean it off. I forgot to clean it off. And we're going to use that darker shade again on this palette it is lightly packed and what i'm going to do is go into this eye area here and i'm going to add some of that into this nose so this kind of can be used as a contour okay and let's just bring it down into that crease and that is where we're going to leave that So yeah, when that sun start hitting, we start the glistening. So I still got some powder right here. I'm just gonna kind of brush that off. Yeah, that is how you handle that. Let's see if we need anything else as far as that. Nope, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and add some of that leftover blue. It's literally still on this brush. So let's use this. Go up under that eye, and I'm not gonna take it too far down. Just adding it on that eye. Okay. 
boom he told me throw it back about y'all last thing to do where is my mask camera all right so this is what we're about to do and my camera's about to die so i gotta hurry up a bit mascara mascara is on and i just need to do some highlights i'm going to be using wet and wild highlighter and i'm actually going to use my finger just dab that in rub any extra off do the tip of that nose bring it up the bridge guys now my camera's about to die so i'm like trying to hurry up a little bit here in the cheek area let me just sit that down i'm gonna use this light brush and just kind of brush it in and we are good final spray Urban Decay. And we are done, babies. Let that dry. Go out and have yourself a good time. This is my look for today. Um, I call this the dolphin look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.